This video will show you how to use the Jobs and Employers section in DiggerNet. Students log into DiggerNet through their Minds Trailhead account using their single sign-on credentials. You can also access DiggerNet through the Career Center's website at minds.edu backslash careers. When you log into DiggerNet, you're taken to the home page. On the top right-hand side is your navigational toolbar. We're going to start by looking at Jobs. The job section is where you can find all current job postings. This includes on-campus, part-time, full-time, and internship opportunities. When you enter this section, you'll first see a number of suggested positions. The system will su suggest jobs to you based on your major. It'll show you the latest job postings, any job postings expiring soon, and any that are trending, which means students are act have actively been applying to those positions. This is a nice way to get started. The best way to look for jobs here is through the filtering. You can search by keyword or location, and then there's a number of filtering options. You can look for jobs that you're qualified for. You can search by position type. You can look by industry, job function, as well as more filters. And under more filters, you can also search by your major to see which positions are hiring for your degree. Once you find a position that you're interested in, you can select that position to view more. When you click the position, you'll see the type of position, you'll see who they're looking for in terms of degree level and certain skills, as well as be able to read the position description and additional information about the role. On the right-hand side, you'll see important information about applying. That will include the dates, if there's an application deadline to apply, as well as anything the employer wants you to include to, to apply. When you're ready, you can hit the apply button and it'll allow you to apply directly through DiggerNet. Sometimes employers won't have you apply through DiggerNet, but they will include information in the description about how to apply. Other things you can do here, you can follow, which means you'll follow the company and get updates when they post other positions, or you can star the position. Maybe you want to apply, but you don't have time right now. When you hit that star, it'll save the position in favorites. Now let's look at the employer section. The employer section is essentially an employer database. This is a great way to get ideas of different employers that are out there. This does not mean that every employer listed is currently hiring, but it's a great, again, a great way to just learn about the companies that you might want to apply to in the future if jobs do come up. You can search by keyword and location again. You can filter companies by industry or even look at ones you're already following. When you find a company you're interested in, you can click on their profile to learn more. You can view some information about who they are. You can click to see if they have any open jobs or upcoming events or even contact information. Not every employer will have this information, but it's a good place to start. And if you wanna to continue to stay connected with this employer, you can hit follow so you'll get information when they post new positions. That's a little bit about how to use the jobs and employer functions on DiggerNet.